Volkswagen Golf 2.5 liter automatic. We're gonna show you how to replace the starter motor. The starter is located right there on the driver's side, in the transmission housing. It's only a couple of bolts that hold it down. We're gonna show you how to remove them. Number one thing you're gonna have to do is disconnect your battery and make sure the lead doesn't get connected back while you're working on the starter otherwise you might burn yourself and you burn your car 10 millimeter nut on the leads don't ever try to take the nuts off completely you will strip the bolt that's holding the, lead, the battery lead together see at the end the bolt, the, the thread is kind of messed up they do that on purpose for some reason, so you don't take the nuts off. So if you're gonna try to take the nut off completely, you will strip the threads in there. Just loosen it a couple of turns. Set the lead aside, make sure it doesn't get reconnected accidentally. And start working on the starter. Okay, so uh, disconnect the wires. Now, the trigger wire has a little red lock on it, see it over here, you gotta unlock it first before you're gonna try to unclip the clip, be very careful, don't break that lock, otherwise it's gonna be pretty hard to get the plug off, now, and then the plug disconnects just like any Volkswagen Audi plug, you gotta press on it, like you try to connect it, pull on the tab and disconnect it, see this little red lock, be very careful with it. So, gotta pull this cover off the nuts for the power supply cable. Pull the cover off the bolts. Yep. Yeah, see that the cover just sitting on this bolt over here. Then it's kind of hard to get it off, but just pry it off with the screwdriver. All right. 13 millimeter nut on the power cable. Try not to lose any answer bolts. All right, so our wires are disconnected. Now, we have this little wire harness bracket. It's held down on, by a 13 millimeter nut to the starter bolt, you're gonna need to grab a little extension and uh, get that nut off. See here's that 13 millimeter nut I'm talking about. It may be easier for you to do it from the bottom of the car. You got another 13 millimeter nut on the bottom bolt as well. Take that off too. Take both upper and lower harness brackets off. The bolts, they have access to the actual starter bolts. The starter bolts are 18 millimeter. Gotta break that break in your plugs to the transmission. Are you gonna be in trouble? The bolts out. Uh -huh. 
And the starter is out. No, just disconnect these connectors over here on the bottom of the transmission so you could get the starter past the wiring harnesses. That's it. Get a new starter motor, insert it back into the transmission housing, make sure there is no damage to the flywheel or any other parts. Just pay attention to surroundings of the starter. Make sure nothing gets stuck in between the starter and the transmission when you're putting it in otherwise you're gonna have to take everything out again and you might damage something if it gets stuck in there put the bolts in by hand as far as you can put them in Using power tools, make sure by hand that the bolts are tight. Now put the wire harness brackets back into the bolts. Do not sound. It's a lot easier to do it when you could actually see the bolts. Connect the transmission plugs. And now you can go on top and connect the starter wires. Up. Right there, we have a new nut that came with the starter. We're gonna take that off. Put the starter wire on, the main power wire. I'll put the nut that holds the wire on. Don't over tighten it, don't rip the uh, stud out of the solenoid, but it's gotta be pretty tight, otherwise, it's gonna give you problems later on. If you have better bad connection, <coughs> the wire might melt, causing all sorts of issues. Put the cover back on. Remember it gets plugged onto the onto this not on the stud. Put the wire in. Now Get the starter signal wire connected. 
backwards in. Let's make sure that connect the clips. And you have to re-engage this little red lock on that connector. It's gonna prevent it from disconnecting by itself. Just make sure you do not break that little lock. That's it. Now reconnect the battery. Make sure it's nice and tight and you're all set.